Okay, you know what? It's fine. We'll find a bed. Everything will be fine. Everything is not fine. Everything is not even kind of fine. <laughs> they got rid of like every hiding spot in the game. There are no more closets. There are no more beds. So now I'm just in the fetal position in the corner of the bathroom. Race! Hoping that I don't get tased in the dick. Oh, come on. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to Thief Simulator. Now many of you guys might remember that when we last left off, we robbed a very high profile mansion for the Mafia, paid off our debt to them, and then received a lovely parting gift in the mail. Which kind of signaled the end of our story. Or so I thought. Uh, apparently, like a little kleptomaniac phoenix rising from the ashes, <laughs> Sneezy Anus has returned to steal a house? I mean, yeah, I know how to read, okay? It says for sale, but at the same time, I'm a master thief. Why would I go and spend $30,000 on an entire house and property? That seems like a really good deal, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure I spent more than that on my van. We should take a look around, okay? I'm a thief. I'm not one to be easily had, but I am impressed. Look at all the room for illegal activities. And it's got half a dozen burnt cars. I've always wanted burnt cars on my property. And and a bed. You know, right now I'm sleeping on a couch in a garage. It's got piles of garbage. Feels like home already. I'm not really sure what they've included with this update. You know, I wouldn't expect them to change the game from Thief Simulator to House Flipper. But at the same time, it looks like I can recycle garbage. Maybe metal scrap and just turn that into more money? Really strange. Okay, you know what? $30,000, I got 47,000, sold. Oh, it doesn't come with all the boards? That's a ripoff. I've been standing here for a few seconds expecting Vinny to call me since I purchased the house, but obviously we're not on speaking terms. Right? He tried to blow me up, <laughs> or did blow me up. Look at this place. This is so much better than I would have expected. I mean, it would have been cool to get a little furniture, but Maybe I can steal furniture? Can I steal stuff out of other people's homes to decorate my own home? <laughs> I feel like some kind of little maximum security home decorator. That would be wicked. I'm also really curious what happened to my last place. Like, did the explosion go off or is this just before it? Because that kind of looks like the couch that I've been sleeping on, except covered in char. Is it bad that the first thought that crossed my mind when I bought this place was that I should install a security system? <laughs> Like, I can't trust all the vagabonds in this neighborhood not to steal all my stuff. The stuff that I will have, right? The stuff that I stole from them, they can't steal it back. I'm actually curious if I could buy stuff legitimately, right? Probably not on Tools for Thieves, which is for the best, because if they're charging $1,200 for gloves, I, I can only imagine that a table costs as much as a small country. Here we go. We got house ripoff. We can buy furniture and wallpapers. Ooh. Well, I do have $17,000. What do we got? Mel shelf, closet, tables, couches, beds. Oh, I've never had a bed. I've always slept in my car. <laughs> a desk. I think we can get most of the furniture that we've seen throughout the neighborhoods, but at the same time, like, why buy a sectional sofa when I can just lug it out of somebody else's house? <laughs> Let's go see what we can do. Hey, Sneezy. I think you forgot something. I can even see your little bald head up there as it flies through the windshield. <laughs> okay, you know what? $24, a couple aspirins, and everything will be right as rain. Don't worry about it. Why does this thing turn like a boat? Are we stuck on a bus stop? Are you serious right now? Okay, you, you know what? This, this is fine. All right, I'll just bring the furniture over to this. All I want to do is find a home with some decent furnishings for me. Is that so much to ask? It's 11 o'clock at night, and all the pedestrians had better mind their own damn business. I am not hurting anybody. Just sneaking around, hoping to walk away with a gnome. Can I steal a gnome for my house? That would be pretty sweet. <laughs> I would love to have a gnome army. Oh, I can't take you. Which means I have to murder you. <laughs> Ooh. I think they heard that. I have a lot of outdoor space. Could I maybe steal myself some patio furniture? Or a barbecue? Can I not take any of this stuff? What do you mean? I, I can take the wine, but... 
<laughs> I don't want wine and a radio and uh, I'll take $15 cash, I suppose. Why can't I take furniture? If I need to buy all my furniture legitimately, I'm gonna be pissed. Leave mud here. Yeah, that's about all I'm gonna be leaving if I have any choice in the manor. <laughs> I just wanna walk away with like one couch. Do I need a friend? Like, is that the problem? Do I need to get myself a thieving friend to just grab something? I can open stuff slowly, but that's not what I wanna do. I could use a router though. Like, there are definitely some minor essentials. A printer? Could use a printer. I'm gonna go rest this on the sidewalk. I know he thinks I'm up to something shady, but he's the one wearing sunglasses for his midnight walk. I do have a whole lot of wall space to cover. I think I'm gonna be a little bit picky with my art. You know what? Something about the $10 sunset, it's just not doing it for me. The small TV, however. I might hold out for a big screen, but at the same time... Maybe I can put this over the toilet. I think they have some kind of optical illusion lamp. <laughs> like when I take a few steps away from it, it just kind of contorts and looks all jagged. But then when you step closer, it fixes itself every time. Weird. Yeah, I'll take you. You're an interesting oddity. Again, you know, lamps are the kind of thing that are a lot more useful when you have furniture to put them on, but figure that out eventually. I really can't take any of this. Why? I, I, I don't need a glass cup. Those are nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll take these, but <laughs> I just don't need them. I don't remember seeing a refrigerator, but I could... No, I can't take their mustard. Okay, that's fine. I'll get mustard later. I could use a microwave. Did I have a kitchen? I don't even think I had a kitchen. <laughs> Saucepan, teapot, inventory full. Okay, uh, I really can't just put a fridge on my back or anything like that. This is the worst. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to buy all this stuff legitimately online. There's so much furniture here for me. Come on, I can be like a midnight mover. Maybe I don't need a security system because I left my van doors wide open, parked on a bus stop and the sidewalk. And when somebody walked by, instead of keying my car or leaving a message telling me I'm an asshole, they closed the door for me. Weird. I'm gonna have to open it back up though as soon as I go steal their stuff. <laughs> They're waiting for me on the sidewalk. Careful. Careful. There we go. We wouldn't want to get any scuffs in the paint. Now, you guys aren't gonna cause me any trouble, are you? The same idiot again. What are you doing making laps in the neighborhood? He's up to something sketchy. I should call the police on him if I had half a mind, but right now I I'm gonna go print out a report. They have anything else that was big and worth taking? I guess I could check upstairs really quick. <laughs> Very tempting. We gotta go stealthy. Because this won't actually cause any inventory weight. Ooh. Oh, I really want a guitar. I could learn guitar. Oh, it's too heavy. Mm, hold on. These two are gonna be super confused tomorrow morning when they wake up and find a bunch of their stuff on a pile on the floor right next to their missing guitar. <laughs> Can I take the lamp at least? Oh, come on! Okay, you know what, fine. I think I pushed my luck far enough. Definitely pushed my luck far enough. Okay, he's gonna do some late night dishes and I am gonna get the hell out of here. <laughs> so, if I can't use this stuff in my house, I'm just gonna have to sell it to Igor at the pawn shop and then buy stuff legitimately for my house, which is a huge bummer. Maybe I can buy a steering wheel for this thing, or a rudder? <laughs> I don't know. Close enough. I know it's a stupid used inkjet printer, but I really, really hope this works. <laughs> I want this to work so badly. Uh, oh, I do have a table over here. I'll put it right next to my computer, right? That makes a whole lot of sense. So, hopefully, just lay you down. Oh, um, good enough. Beggars can't be choosers, right? I'm just kind of concerned with how the TV over the toilet is gonna go. Uh, maybe we can just do a little something like this? Really? That's not even kind of what I'm going for. Help help me out a little bit here, TV. Can you, can you just kind of just... Ah... <sighs> Maybe I can get somebody to install it? I wonder if I can break my own toilet. Why did I do that? 
it's a good thing there's a whole lot of woods behind my house because you cannot buy a replacement toilet. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have a leaky hole in my wall until the end of time. What do I wanna buy then? I wanna buy a bed, right? I've never owned a bed before. Can I only get a single bed? It's gonna be a little awkward with the ladies, but if that's the best you can do, then fine, fine, fine. I'll take it, I'll take it, thank you. Do I wait like six to eight weeks for this bed to show up or what? I, I don't have anything in my inventory and there's nothing in my bedroom. <laughs> Did I just get ripped off on the internet? Ooh. Oh, you can actually hold items from your inventory now. Are you see? Oh, that makes things so much easier. Okay, but that still doesn't explain where the hell my bed went found them. It turns out FedEx just drives up and chucks them over the fence onto my property. It didn't bother knocking or letting me know or anything like that, so I went and bought a second one without even realizing that the game wasn't actually broken. No, I don't want to sleep out. Okay, you know what? Yeah, maybe maybe we'll just sleep for like an hour. Okay, it's been a long, stressful day, but I really just want to pick it up. There we go. We got two single beds. That's just great. Totally not gonna look like a random serial killer to anybody you bring home. <laughs> Nobody is gonna wanna be the Ernie to your Bert, Sneezy. Can I get this set up right, I wonder? Just like that? There we go. Okay. It's better than a couch. Well, isn't that a bummer? Why can't I set up a guest bedroom out here with the burnt cars? Having all your furniture inside your house is so 2018. Okay, get with the times, pick it up, people. <laughs> I just, I am so pissed that I can't steal furniture from other people. That's like the one big thing about this game. I get that I can probably steal things from them, right? I stole a guitar, I could put that on my wall, so I can't decorate, but it would be so funny to just get caught by the police as you walk out of somebody's house with a refrigerator. Now, unsurprisingly, this is not The Sims 4. You cannot buy an entire house worth of stuff. In fact, you can't even build a kitchen. You could buy a stove, you could buy an oven, and that's about it. This is my kitchen. This is my dining room. <laughs> With my single chair to eat my cold can of beans on. <laughs> and I think I accidentally ordered two chairs as well. Yeah, that is a chair. I'm pretty sure this is for returning furniture. Hopefully it's for returning and not for destroying, right? No, it's just destroying. I didn't get my money back, damn it. Of course the lamps don't work, because why would I want light in my house? <laughs> or a place to put my microwave that won't start a house fire. I don't have insurance. I literally just bought this place. Uh, I want to steal a car. You know, I want to get something in here to make this place look a little bit more full. We could definitely go get something real expensive, right? It'd be a whole lot easier to find a car to steal if I could just get out and hold somebody at gunpoint. <laughs> Seen a whole bunch of them driving around. Oh, wait a second. This will work perfectly, right? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, five bucks, not a big deal. Not a big, oh my God. Who's gonna fix that for $5? <laughs> just crumpled my car like a Pepsi can. Uh, I think this place has a car, right? Yeah. The problem is we need to cut the power and I think we need to wait for just a little bit longer for him to leave. He's uh, doing some 8.30 p.m. night gardening right now, but he'll, he'll be gone soon. I think he's leaving. There we go, okay, perfect. Now we can turn off the power and that will give us about four minutes to get in there and get out with the car. We need to open the garage door, we need to open the front gate and try not to cause any suspicion. <laughs> and step one is gonna be getting through the freaking lock without any pedestrians losing their mind at me. Don't look at me. Don't, don't look at me, I'm not doing anything every freaking time with the pedestrians. <laughs> Okay, you know what? It's fine. We'll find a bed. Everything will be fine. Everything is not fine. Everything is not even kind of fine. <laughs> they got rid of like every hiding spot in the game. There are no more closets. There are no more beds. So now I'm just in the fetal position in the corner of the bathroom. Hoping that I don't get tased in the dick. Oh, come on. 
Well, that was new. It's good to know that they've updated the game a lot more than just adding the house feature. I really cannot risk having anybody see me now. It used to be so easy, right? If the cops ever show up, you just slide underneath the bed. Everybody's got a bed, right? And then you're in the clear. But now if the cops get called, it's pretty much game over. You know, you just gotta roll with the punches. So hopefully nobody is out for their 9.30 p.m. stroll. I think we're in the clear this time. Come on, there we go. Okay, 200 seconds left. Don't need to worry about the camera or anything like that. Can we get in here? Come on, come on, come on, come on. So, like I was saying, we need to open the front gate. We need to open the garage door. We need to hot wire the car and maybe see if there's anything nice here for the house. Ooh, ah, oh, it's so tempting. Um, no, 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 no. Get, get the car. Get the get the car. When I said we were gonna steal a nice car. This isn't really what I had in mind. <gasps> We've already gone too far, okay? We gotta follow through. Ooh, minor problem. Um, I remember how to open the garage door, and I know how to disarm the alarm, right? That's easy enough. But I can't remember where in the house the gate is. Ooh, uh, okay, T two minutes, two minutes, remain calm. There's gotta be a switch around here somewhere, right? 60 seconds, okay, yeah, you know what? Now might be the time to panic because I've looked all over this house and I cannot find a switch anywhere. I've done this like a thousand times, okay? <laughs> this dude's lost his car a handful of times. I should remember how to do this. Think, where would the switch to the gate be? Usually it's in the kitchen, sometimes Sometimes they have it upstairs, sometimes it's right next to the freaking gate. Okay, no, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Shut up, shut up. Okay, I hear all the comments right now. <laughs> Just let me drill through this handle in peace, and then we are out of here. 26 seconds, come on, come on, come on. Oh, don't tell me I need to hotwire this. Oh, come on, I still don't know how this works. I just press a bunch of bu buttons. It's going, it's going, going is good. Going is good, go, 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 sorry. There we go, the Burt cars made a friend. I could definitely fit a ton of cars back here. Right? I could just rob the whole city blind, everybody would be walking around in the middle of the night like they already do. I was tempted to put it up on the blocks and disassemble it, but I've done that so many times before that I feel like I should look around and see if there's anything else that's changed with this update. Right? They might have like a new house or something like that, they didn't mention it, but... Uh... What's a junkyard? I've been in my car like 15 times this episode and not once did I see Junkyard. Like, am I just blind to these things? I was honestly gonna go to the rich end of town and see if we could find a new house, but instead we found an entire new area full of garbage with the hillbilly guarding it. What is that guy doing? Hello? Howdy. Howdy, Billy. Shop owner. Oh, you can sell cars and car parts here. Finally, I've been holding on to so many stupid car parts this entire time. Hey, you wanna buy uh, that car I just sold 800 bucks? Easy deal. Billy, are you okay? You look a little twitchy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. Between the camouflage hat and the dirty wife beater, the Intel, Dell Pentium rust bucket you got there. I really didn't think you'd have $800 cash on you for the car. <gasps> I'm happy I'm leaving here without getting mugged, to be completely honest. I don't suppose I can take a look around the junkyard, can I? I don't suppose I want to, do I? No, probably not, to be perfectly honest. If my house is gonna be a lonely, empty shack, then it's gonna be a lonely, empty shack with some art in it, okay? We're gonna hit up the rich end of town, see if we can grab some paintings and whatever else these people have. What's a nice light touch house? Doesn't have a whole bunch of security. At least security that doesn't pay attention. This looks like the kind of place that probably has a whole bunch of fancy schmancy art. They definitely have a lot of security cameras and maybe a guard or two, I can't quite tell, but they also have this rock that you can hardcore parkour your way around on if you really know what you're doing. Please tell me they didn't patch that out. Keep moving, ma'am, nothing to see here. They do indeed have a security guard, but hopefully he doesn't see this coming. Oh, 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 no, 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 don't, 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 ah! I should have known that he just wanted an excuse. 
<laughs> Give him a reason to tase you kind of thing. Don't do it again. Come on, just just leave me alone. There we go. Okay. Now. Ooh, yeah, look at all that. That's a whole bunch of art. What the? Oh, oh, come on. No, no, don't be like that. I'm just doing a little window shopping, man. Okay, you're a security guard, not a mall cop. Just leave me alone. Go on, Mark. Oh no, I can mark him. <laughs> I thought his name was Mark. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me, bro. Can I climb up this? Climb, 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 climb. They can't tase what they can't reach. Oh my God, that actually worked? He's like, oh well, I, I can't tase what I can't reach. Ingenious. Now, how are we gonna get out of here with the art? Okay, we'll cross that bridge once we get to it, all right? Right now, we just need to focus on getting the art. I don't really want the spoons, though. Or the flower piano. Come on, you gotta have better than... Mm, yeah, that's the good stuff. Hard to reach stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Go away. What's that over there? Break or steal their curved TV on the second floor. Curved TV! That's way better than art. Can I tase this guy? Go, go away, go away. Okay, Curve TV is exactly what I, oh my God, look at it, it's beautiful. It's a $5,000 TV. <laughs> How do I leave this place with it? Uh, I might be able to throw it off the balcony. That seems like a bad idea. Mark seems real busy doing his rounds of the basketball court, so I could probably get out the front. Maybe I can just, uh, Cross this, like, like that. Oh, oh, okay, it bounced. It bounced, we're good. Uh, no, 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 no. What the hell? Is that a random pedestrian? Oh, screw you. <gasps> I gotta figure out how to get out of here. I think I need to turn off the cameras. There seems to be some kind of pedestrian roadblock going on over there. These people are such idiots. Which one controls the cameras again? I should probably just get both of them, right? Uh, okay, we want to get you, and you, and you. Good. That did something. Okay, we're gonna hack this as well. <laughs> just hack the planet, get it all. Uh, there we go, good, good. So, I think that should be most of the security. Is there anything else down here that's kind of interesting? Oh, I could open the gate. Would that piss him off? Tenant heard that. Oh, 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 no, no, you you don't see anything. Where is he right now? He's in a different room. I'm I'm good, right? Oh, this is <laughs> This is locked as well. Come on! How much hacking do I need to do? Get me the hell out of here! There we go, there we go. Okay, good. Good. Now. Nice and careful, like. We're actually gonna go over here and open this door. So hopefully, I, oh, 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 I wasn't looking. I was looking at pedestrians. I gotta make sure the pedestrians don't, come on, come on, Tumblr. Don't do this to me. Nope, mm, okay, okay, no, 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 no. Oh, come on, the owner shot me. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Thief Simulator, guys. Maybe I don't need a curved TV. Right, it's not like I have furniture to put it on. But thank you guys for letting me know that there was an update to this game. It was really cool. And I'm hoping that we get more story. Because then once they add more things for me to do, I'll definitely be sure to return for more. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.